Hey, we just got to the Belair event. I think that's how you pronounce it. I might be butchering that. I'm not sure. But it's a gifting suite for Coachella and all things spring and festival fashion. So I'm really excited to go in and check it out. I have a rental car for the day. I actually don't have a car, even though I live in LA. I think a lot of people think that I'm insane for that, but personally, it just doesn't matter that much. I spend most of my time at home because I work from home and I film a lot of my content at home, so it just doesn't make that much sense for me to have a car, but it is kind of fun, so we'll see what I end up doing after this because it's nice to be able to go places and not really have to think about it, but we'll see. We're also going to go to an event with Amazon this afternoon and then I'm going to spend some time like in a co-working space. This is definitely not a typical day for me. I usually am working from home, filming videos, editing, hanging out, not really leaving the house. So we'll call this a not so typical day in my life. I don't know. I just feel like not put together if I don't have lip gloss on. This is Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk and I just think this color is so pretty. Okay, now it's time to get ourselves together and actually go inside. finished at the Belair event. It was so beautiful. I used to work in events and I feel like I know how difficult it is to pull off an event of that magnitude so I have so much respect for the team that's worked on that because it can be so stressful and there's just a lot that goes into that that I feel like a lot of people don't see. So I'm really grateful to get to go to events like that. It was really cool. I'll definitely show you all what I got when we get home but next we're gonna go work in a coffee shop a little bit before we are off to our next event. We are finished up answering some emails and stuff, had a little bit of lunch, and now we are going to go to the Beverly Hills Hotel for our Amazon event. Okay, GPS is set. It honestly looks like it's going to rain, so I'm a little bit curious how this event is going to go because I think it's outside, but we're about to go find out. Crazy, you are the one that is going crazy with everyone else. That. Honestly, driving in LA really stresses me out and that's part of the reason that I don't have a car. Like, it's just a little bit terrifying. I feel like what's fun about LA is that there's always something interesting going on. Like, I'm at a stoplight and I'm watching people paint murals. We are officially at the Amazon event, waiting to go in and answering more emails because emails are just a never-ending task for me. And I'm really bad at answering them. Like, I'm very slow, so it just has to happen. I ended up going into a beauty career and I really missed it. I missed that aspect of having a community and being able to speak and inspire other people and um, learning tips and tricks from other people about different beauty products. And so I actually started up about um, five years ago again 
got my handle from Carlene. Um, and I actually started back up band as a creative outlet and shared more fashion since I was in the beauty space already. And from there, I just kind of took off. And um, I will say, I ended up wanting to do a little bit more just because, I mean, I, I couldn't just stick to one thing. But I lost track of time. Everyone keep looking like you, I can't take no more. I miss your touch from your hands and your body. I think we have something really exciting coming up. Um, I pretty much feel like this person needs no introduction. <laughs> they are, <laughs> it's like, what hasn't she done? Um, you know, absolute pop culture icon queen queen of the metaverse coming up like so many products mogul, like just the original influencer and to me um she really sees things in the future you know she started so many things she does a lot of charity work and it's just it's so inspiring and i'm so excited to hear what she has to say so i think she's here ladies and gentlemen the one and only paris hilton Woo! we'll be coming in <laughs> practice run so next time we want like hands waving and hey, ladies and gentlemen welcome the one and only the queen herself Paris Hilton I know hello hello we are back home finally it is 5.40, like that's crazy. I left the house at 8.30 and I usually am not out of the house at all. So it's kind of a crazy day. I am also starving because I didn't really eat my lunch. It looked very delicious. I just wasn't vibing with it. So I am super hungry and I think we're gonna get takeout for dinner. I honestly still have a ton of work to do. So we are gonna unbox everything that I got so you guys can see everything that I got and then we are going to do some work. We are going for an extremely nutritious snack of french fries. Also, if you don't use your air fryer for french fries and like chicken nuggets, anything like that, you're missing out, it's way better. And while I wait on those, I'm gonna munch on this granola. It's so good. It's from Purely Elizabeth. Honestly, I'm obsessed with all the flavors and it comes in like actually big chunks, so it's good for snacking. You guys, this is insane. Like, I'm honestly not even sure where to begin, but I feel like we're gonna start with this bag from Amazon because I honestly don't know what's in it and I'm kind of just needing to know. I feel like a lot of people don't open their packages the second that they get them, but I can't relate. I'm just really excited and I wanna know what's in it. This is Splenda Pink Lemonade. Skincare. This I actually just got this morning, so it's really funny that it's in this package. More skincare. I'm actually really excited to try this brand. I haven't tried it at all. I also got this this morning. It's looking like someone is gonna get a gift bag from me because some of these are definitely things I already got this morning. This one I did not though. Press on nails. Look at those. That's so fun. I'm actually planning to start redoing, like doing my nails at home again. I used to do them at home a lot and then I kind of stopped and I got back into Gel X, but the maintenance is kind of a lot and I just want to do my nails at home again and be easy. Plus, I just got some new like clean gel, so I'm excited to try that out. Let me know if you want to review. It's just a little hat. Amino Lean with Alex Earl, everyone's TikTok queen, okay, noted what everyone really wanted in this bag. You're joking. All three? This one, the pink one, is my favorite. I've honestly never really tried the other two, so I'm excited. Splenda with monk fruit. This I've actually never seen before. A Splenda syrup to use instead of honey. The viral lip sleeping mask. I'm obsessed with this, and I also got one <laughs> this morning. Water bank cream, cream moisturizer. I'm excited to try this out. I'm almost out of moisturizer and I'm like already kind of panicking about what I'm going to use because I like mine so much. This sunscreen, which I also got this morning. Bond maintenance and bond repair for your hair is like the big trend in hair care right now and I'm really excited. I feel like it's really infusing science with hair care, which is really interesting to focus on getting more product actually into your hair follicles. So this one is by Paul Mitchell. I will probably make a video reviewing different bond repairs because 
I'm kind of accumulating them. More Splenda. Honestly, that was a crazy, <laughs> a crazy bag. I was not expecting that. The other thing that I got at Amazon is sneakers, which I'm really excited about. Let's see which ones these are. I got two pairs, these Reeboks. Just classic white sneakers. You can absolutely never go wrong. And this one is like pastel rainbow. I think these are so cute. And this one is from Bolaire. I am obsessed with them. I feel like I'm probably butchering their name. Like I'm gonna have to email them and ask. First is Urban Decay. I'm really excited because they gave me one of the moon dust, which if you've seen on TikTok, this has been super viral and I'm really excited to try it. I have a glitter from Makeup by Mario that I really like, but I've never tried the Urban Decay one, so I'm really excited. We have Lip Bond, which is supposed to be a liquid lipstick that stays glossy, and I love a glossy lip, so I'm really excited to try that. Mascara. I think this is a blue eyeliner. They had a makeup artist there who suggested that I try blue, so I'm really excited. I wanted to know what was going to look best on me, because I don't know about you, but I've tried colored eyeliner and usually end up looking terrible. So I'm excited. And then this one is just a plain black eyeliner. This I got a lot more clothes from, but this is from Rebecca Minkoff. It's like kind of translucent, but a little bit more coverage towards like the bottom, but more translucent at the top. I feel like this is such a beautiful cover up for swimwear. And if you're going to any festivals, be absolutely stunning. This is really in line with like my usual neutrals. So kind of a perfect fit. This little top from Free People, I feel like this is just a classic summer top. I honestly don't have anything like this, which surprises me because I do feel like it's a classic, but she's super cute, dainty, a little bit of lace, nothing too crazy. This color, are you joking? Like, how pretty is that? It also has this little like rope tie to kind of cinch the waist and then super pretty crochet detail. This one is from the brand Likely. Love. I grabbed a size two, which hopefully that fits. The next thing I got is this workout set from Tavi. I feel like somewhere in there, there's socks that match, but this is just a little sports bra and leggings. If you've been following me for a while, I love Tavi. Tavi Lululemon, sometimes aloe, but not a ton. I feel like aloe, I usually go for like prettier looking, Aritzia for sweat sets, but for workout sets, I mostly go towards Tavi and Lululemon. Really excited to wear this because I feel like this color is so pretty. But I also got this set from Gymshark. I usually don't shop at Gymshark, so I'm kind of excited. Like I definitely had my Gymshark days, but it's been a long time. This color though, like this is really cute. I feel like it's gonna be adorable for spring. And it was just a cute set. It feels very comfy, very stretchy. And I basically live in athleisure, so I feel like I can't really have too much, you know? This little cover up to go with a swimsuit. This is the swimsuit that I picked up. This is from Petal and Pup. I feel like this is just adorable. Oh no, I lied. It's from Dip and Daisies, but it has a Petal and Pup tag. So maybe they sell Dip and Daisies, but this is so cute. Like this color and the print, I'm obsessed. It's very girly and I feel like it'll be super cute with the purple cover up. Okay, <laughs> we are back with some minor camera adjustments because the camera literally is plugged in, but we are almost done. These are the socks that match the workout set. Like, tell me I'm not gonna look adorable going to Pilates in like a full matching set down to the socks. Like, that's so cute. This self tanner, which is by Mind Tan, I feel like this is the same brand that makes B Tan, who is my all time favorite. So I think that this will be really good. And it's still a one hour self tan and then also a tan mint. So I'm excited to try that. Vacation by Vacation, which is a sunscreen brand. This really reminded me of the Tom Ford perfume. I forget the name of it, Soleil Blanc, I think. It reminded me a lot of that. It smells literally like vacation. So I feel like it's a very good summer fragrance. More lip sleeping mask. Guys, I was so excited about this because I used to have this body scrub and it feels so good. Like it leaves your skin feeling so hydrated and I ran out a while ago and when I saw this, I grabbed it so fast because this is truly one of the best. If you love backless tops, then you need pasties and that's what these are. I also like that this has a carrying case because I've never had one with a case 
which is inconvenient because I usually destroy them or lose them. More sunscreen, a mini hair mask to go in my travel stash. Like pretty much all of the green tea hyaluronic acid products from Innisfree. I am so excited to try these out. I love hyaluronic acid. I have really dry skin and I feel like it helps my skin so much. So I'm excited to try these out, especially this toner. I've been using the Laneige Milky Toner, Cream Skin Toner, one of those, which is a hydrating toner and I do really like it, but I think I'm gonna try this one next. And the last thing in here is a beauty blender because you can never have too many and this is just a reminder to wash or just swap yours out. That is everything. Now it is time to put together some YouTube clips for my video editor. I told you that I was gonna keep working and filming. Adam got home, brought dinner, and I absolutely did none of that. We watched Netflix. So I guess this is the end of our vlog. Thank you for joining me for a very not typical work day. And let me know in the comments if you wanna see a more typical work day for me. Bye.